what is going on guys? It's your boy Siso here. Bring you guys a video here today. Bring you guys a Photoshop tour how to create your own uh, uh, grunge aggressive like advertisement design. Not sure what I'm going with yet, but today's example we of course have G Fuel. I usually always use like a G Fuel or I don't know. I'm still trying to stick to like little the gaming community roots. So of course I've seen a lot of G Fuel ads and stuff like that. And I was like wondering to myself, well, let's just like try to clean these guys up just a little bit. I know like we can get very generic when it comes to like advertising and stuff like that, but I want to at least show you guys a really cool like backing technique or just kind of making this really cool sort of style, right? So I'm gonna teach you guys this today. It's not very hard whatsoever, really. It's just really fun with lighting, uh, really nice color correction mix. It's really awesome little text, I guess, little effect. I mean, I did like something like this way before. It was called like the tear effect. But you know, regardless, let's go ahead and get this thing going. Of course, two likes on the video equals a secret down below. And I already know, guys, I think my next video is going to be, like, my 70K, like, special. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll vlog, Rose. I really don't know. I might vlog only because, like, next week or, excuse me, this Tuesday and Wednesday is going to be, like, super beautiful and stuff like that. So I might do something. I don't know. Like, you you guys give me great, you know, ideas, you know? You're like, go put the everything pack for, like, 1% off. I mean, excuse me, 99% off. And I was like, no, no, no. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this thing going. All right. <laughs> Oh, I'm tired. All right, guys. So I do have a couple of things in here. I have like these like four or five different things. I didn't I didn't end up using this right here, but I'm pretty much gonna be using this, 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 and that. Um, the these two things are for like the kind of I guess the start of this whole entire thing. So let's go ahead and get that going right now. We're gonna go ahead and just switch this color real quick. So this black that I have right now for my foreground color, it is the hex code zero F one zero one two. It's basically like a bluish kind of dark. What do you call this? Like, a, it's like a black, but it's bluish toned. We're gonna go with that. Okay, so I'm gonna take this number one grunge here. I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift, hold my corners, and put it a lot bigger so it kind of fits the exact sort of like, I guess, the screen region here. Uh, we're gonna put it like right there. Okay, right, so we're gonna change our blend mode from normal to hard light. Nope, it's not overlay. Someone made a crazy meme last time and it made me like think about how many times I've used overlay, but. We're going to go to hard light this time, so shout out to you, bro. Um, we're going to go ahead and also throw in number two as well. Now, this one here is a little awkward. I might have, you might have a stock yourself that just has like a grunge with like something like this. But for my instance, I'm going to have to rasterize this image here. I'm going to go to select color range, select white, press OK. And then I'm simply press M on my keyboard, which brings up the rectangle marquee tool. And it will give me the option when I right click to layer via cut. And this is what I'm going to basically do. I'm going to take this here. And not this one. I'm going to take this part here. So I'm going to delete that other part here. Take this. I'm going to put this on overlay and then lower the opacity. And then we're going to put this down to, uh, let's say, 30%. Let's just say 30%. Oh, let's say 35%. let us see. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's mess around with it a little bit. Yep, just a little bit. Just kind of give us a nice, really good start to a nice, clean, grunge background. So the next thing I'm going to do really quickly is, uh, we, can we go? To, should we go to the text? I don't see why not. Let's just do the text really quick before I do any kind of lighting stuff. So, for the text, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have my rulers in still. Right? I do. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and just... The font that I'm using, by the way, is called Evo Gria. Right? That's how you say it. That's how you pronounce it. I'm not really sure. But I believe I... What was the uh, little slogan? Switch to healthy energy. I think I just got that from the G Fuel Energy. Uh, excuse me. G Fuel uh, website. So, switch. Switch to. And then we're going to have that be... Should we just have that italic and say screw it? Or italicize? What's the way to say it? Switch to healthy energy. Okay. And then we're simply going to put this like so. And then we'll go like that. I don't know. What would it look like if I just put it on like regular? No, that's fine. I mean, I believe I did put it on regular for that one. It's all good. We'll just put it on like italic for now. So, switch to healthy energy. So basically with this, I'm going to go ahead and just sort of move this up a little bit. Let me also drag in this G Fuel logo here as well. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm actually going to take a wand tool, magic wand tool, get rid of that. Oh, I should probably get rid of this too. That way I can just have this, oops, have this right in the middle here. I'm also going to also make this black and white. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, and then just lower this down, just so I know like my spacing, where my spacing's at. Put this in the middle here, right? Okay, now, switch to healthy energy. So basically with this, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, this doesn't need to be there. I'm gonna go ahead and just like size this up a little bit. I'm gonna say like right here is a pretty good way, uh, like size to put it, or excuse me, place to put it in. So I'm gonna control T to free transform, and then I'm gonna right click inside this box here, 
and click on the word skew. If you don't know what skew is, basically kind of takes your angle and just makes it look a little cooler if you can move it like push it left or right but mine I'm gonna be moving it up and down so for me I'm gonna put it like something like this I guess on like a negative you see that negative seven up there like a negative seven looks pretty good I would say like something like that right okay I'm gonna press this little check mark up here bring this down and just for the sanity of like knowing that I'm gonna actually change it to a color pretty much highlight the the healthy part of it of course or highlight whatever part you think whatever slogan you're using just highlight the most I guess important thing or just something to make some color in this actual like you know design right now so I'm gonna go ahead and press this color here and I believe the color I'm gonna choose is gonna be somewhere around this color but I'm gonna choose a uh, like an orange maybe like this I think that looks good okay I'm gonna press okay just like so and uh, there we go all right, so right now what I'm lacking a little bit is color for at least the start of this entire thing. So what I'm going to do is go back below the actual text, make a new layer, and then we're going to just basically, I'm gonna, this, the color I'm going to be using for right now, uh, the color I'm using for not, right now is just so I can actually press Control u and then change the color around, but the sort of base color that I'm using for this is hex code E0D49B. If I press OK, I get that color. And then <clears throat> on this new layer, I'm going to change this blend mode from uh, whatever it is to color dodge or normal color dodge. And I'm going to basically just click around a couple times like so. That looks pretty good. I think that's a good around amount of clicks. I'm going to take my eraser and just sort of erase this a little bit. Nothing crazy. And even so, I might even lower my opacity down on my eraser to get something like this, right? I just want to get like a nice faded color. That looks pretty good. I'm going to put my opacity back up. Okay, so right now I press Control U on my keyboard on that new brushed hit layer. I could just change my hue around like so. And I'll probably be doing this a lot during the actual tutorial, but for now I'm going to leave it around like this kind of orange, making it like some kind of orange that looks like this one as well. So, pressing OK. And right now I'm thinking I'm looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys this really cool, simple little technique how you kind of see. Uh, let's get rid of that. Yeah, you see, kind of see this stuff right here? Let's do that right now. So basically, you're going to need an eraser or maybe like, I guess, I guess an eraser that has like a br like a brush stock, like <laughs> like mine and selfie.com slash HQ. <laughs> you can get a brush stock that looks something like that. And I'll show you guys what I mean by what I mean by that. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, really quickly, though, I'm going to combine these two things together, these two texts, right? I'm going to press Control J to make a duplicate and then Control E to then merge that duplicate uh, together so it's in one layer now right I'm gonna take my pen tool I'm gonna pen tool out switch to uh, energy because I want the healthy to be a different sort of like pattern I guess you can say when I erase it also someone told me in the comments below control U is the quick selection to actually create a selection or make a selection which is pretty cool I didn't actually know that now I do I'm gonna be using it a lot now so this is the switch so you guys know this is switch energy and then this is the word healthy just so you guys know now we have these two things separated right and that's what I want because I'm gonna go ahead and do now I'm gonna take my eraser and then as you can see if I had use this eraser like this one here I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit this little eraser here and if I just click on it it gives me like these really cool almost like a it's like a tiger swipe or something like that I don't know where I got this texture from but I believe I got it from like I think it was like bark or something like that so there we go I'm gonna just like click like mmm that's fine. That looks good. So for that one is going to be that. And then for the word healthy. Now, if you want to, I just erase it plainly on the actual text. But if you wanted to, you can use the masking tool as well. And then pretty much you would actually have to use a brush basically, but it's going to solve the same exact purpose. As long as you're using a black brush, I believe it erases for you. I believe it's black. Let's see. I forgot. For some reason, I forgot. Let's just check and make sure. Yep. If you use a black brush, it'll erase it for you. So in this little box here, make you select that and then use a brush and then you can use a black or white brush to erase. And then the white one's gonna actually fill it back in. So it all depends on what you got really want to do. But if you want to choose to just do it this simple, quick way, go for it. Like there's nothing stopping you. But I think that's uh, let's do something like more like fun. Uh, like mm, I don't know. There's so many choices. Let's go ahead and like I don't know. Like boom, something like that. Why not? And because I know it's going to like tilt the hell out of me if I don't do it now, let's double click on this and put a simple little uh, a little layer style on this. I'm going to put a, an inner glow and I'm going to put my opacity on uh, like, maybe, excuse me, lower my opacity, put my blend mode on uh, overlay. You can flirt with that if you want to. No, not the word flirt. Oh, God. All right. So we're going to use drop shadow as well. And we're going to just turn off use global light for now. And we're going to go ahead and just put our size up and put our distance just to far up a little bit as well. Let's see what we got here. Something like right there is fine, sure. And I'm going to put on a gradient overlay, and I believe I'm going to try, which one was it that I used before? 
Gradient overlay, then I use hard light. Yes, I did. Lower my opacity down a bit. And let's just see. I mean, maybe the inner glow doesn't have to be there. And then just like, we're just going to do that for now. So press OK. We're going to right click, copy the layer style, and put it on the other switch energy part as well. So we get something like this. This is pretty good. Um, if you want to mess around with it a little bit more, you guys can. But for now, that's my little layer style right there. Just a little bit of a layer style. Nothing crazy. I might even go back and lower the drop shadow because I'm not even that big of a fan of drop shadow. I'm going to lower it down quite a bit, almost to the point where you can't see it, so screw it. Oh, I don't know what that was, but okay. All right, and let's just go ahead and say that's pretty good. Okay, cool. So, now these are the two texts. I'm going to combine them again. That was a hard way to... Oh, that was, that's fine. No, perfect. All right, so there's a little text right there. I'm going to make a new layer really quickly and just add a very simple uh, soft brush. A nice orange here. This is not very orange, and I'm going to actually change that now. That's going to tilt the hell out of me, too. Let's just lower this down to, like, around there. Sure. We're going to take, like, an orange from here. Let's actually make this more orange. Let's do that. Let's make it more of, like, a... Like a... Like that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and... Is this a new layer? Yep, the new layer. I'm gonna select this little orange here. I'm gonna click on this top of the, on top of this thing right here. The word healthy. I'm gonna put this on linear dodge add, and then lower my opacity down. I'm actually gonna put it as well, like right over here. That will look pretty good too. So lower my opacity down, so you can see a little bit of color coming in right now, which looks pretty dang good. And right now as well, I'm gonna make another new layer because why the hell not? Let's go ahead and take a white, and then just sort of take a brush, like a soft brush still. And then just kind of like do like something like that. I don't know how you would say. Just kind of put like slanted, very simple brush strokes going to like the left or the right, wherever way, wherever way you want to go. Um, put it on blur, Gaussian blur, and we're gonna simply just press OK. And we're gonna put this on overlay, just like so. And then we're gonna go ahead now as well. Let's make sure this is over the text. It is over the text. All right, I'm gonna take my eraser and just erase a little bit. Oops. Take my eraser, not my brush. Okay, and then just erase a little bit like so because what I'm gonna go ahead and do now I'm gonna go ahead and just sort of take my uh, let's just take a simple stock like something like this right we're just gonna click once we're, we're gonna click once with some color because I'm gonna do is just simply just click once with a really cool little simple stock right and on that stock I'm gonna press filter blur motion blur now what I want to do is I want to try to copy this slant here so I'm just kind of like mess around with this put the distance up make sure I kind of copy that slant Get something like, uh, something like that, which is not that bad. And for me in my example, I only had it on one side, but if you want to keep it on two sides, sure. But I kind of like it on just one side. So this is kind of like your personal preference kind of thing, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to put this little orange thing on the top, this orange bar thing on the top. Let's just do that now to kind of space this out even more. So I'm going to make a new layer. Boom. New layer. And we're going to go ahead and just kind of like, hmm. Let's try to make sure we get that like angle though. And that's pretty good. So I'm gonna drag that back up top. There we go. And then I'm just gonna basically go around just like so. Again, right click, fill the path in with like this color here. Uh, can we get a little darker maybe? If we need to, we'll mess around with it a little more. But right now, that's fine. It kind of matches the same color scheme, right? Still. And right now I'm gonna go ahead and just also bring in textures again let's just bring in this texture here make this pretty good size make sure it's covered on top of that then just basically on this texture clipping mask with six texture to oop that was yo english is really hard yo i'm so sorry <laughs> clipping mask this texture onto this shape here i'm gonna put this on hard light as well and we're gonna lower the opacity down something like this looks pretty good now what i'm also gonna do is i'm gonna take my text here make a duplicate of this text group i'm gonna turn off my little effects here and I'm just gonna then merge it together. Press Control U, and then turn my lightness all the way down, which is gonna make it just simple black text with that little sort of erasing mark that we had before. So clean mask this. We're gonna make this a little bit bigger as well. It does not matter. I know it's gonna get blurry, but we're just gonna take the filter and then just motion blur it just a little bit. Not crazy amount, but something like that, which is not that bad. Lower this opacity down a bit, and we get something like that. Now I might go back in here, put my saturation up just a little bit. Try to get a better orange. If I gotta lower this, I will. 
Not bad. Perfect. That looks good. And then right below this, we're going to make another new layer. Take our pen tool, just start from this edge here, and then cut in the middle just like so, so we can get like a nice simple, like I guess a white, how do you call it, like a white streak right below this. So fill this in with white and then call that a day. Perfect. Now, just because I'm going to put this in here now, I want to put this little G Fuel tub in here as well. Now, the whole focus of this entire thing wasn't for like, you know, sort of like the whole G Fuel thing, but I kind of still made G Fuel the focus. Of course, I put the little slogan thing that they have on the website currently, and then like a simple a tub in the middle. However, it's a lot, you know, it can get a lot more than that. Just know that, right? So it's just, it's just me kind of like messing around with this whole little color scheme with like being in like aggressive or dark color scheme. I don't know what the hell my title is, but just know that's what I'm going for. So I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to make this red so you guys know where this is. I'm going to go ahead though and go back in here. And I'm just going to go ahead. And actually before I even do that, I'm going to put a nice little color correction on this. So brightness and contrast. We're going to make our brightness 30 and our contrast 63. Those are my exact settings that I have currently. So you can get the same exact ones. And I'm also going to put a color balance in. I've been freaking having a lot of fun with color balance. I'm sure you guys know. And for me, I'm going to just put in the settings that I have right now. Uh, it's going to be 1 for the Scion to red, and for the Magenta to green, it's going to be negative 8. And then for the yellow to blue, it's going to be uh, 43. I might have to mess around with this a little bit, though, just because my colors are not the exact same that I had previously. So I'm going to go ahead and just mess around with this a little bit. And I think that looks pretty good. Look at the difference, though. Kind of puts like a nice blue tint on it. And it's something I really can't capture without having a, like, a color balance. I really advise you guys to try it out, definitely. So... Put a nice little soft brush here and we're gonna go and just take this little orange from like this orange here and if we need to we'll dull out the colors a little bit with control u but for now click over here click over there maybe like even like over there or over here as well and they're just gonna put it on linear dodge add lower this opacity down right we just want the color to go around a little bit more and uh let's just go ahead and make another new layer take another different tone of orange here and just give a little more brightness just around the, the tub a little bit. Maybe around here, just a little bit. Spread it out nice and evenly. Linear dodge add. And then lower the opacity down more. And if I need to, go back in here with this eraser. Kind of eraser, I feel like I don't need it as much. You know? Not bad. There we go. It's not bad looking at all. So. Perfect. Let's just go ahead and put another bright, like another, I don't know, like something is wrong with this word healthy here. So I'm going to go back down here and change this color again. Maybe just to make it a little more darker. I want this a little bit more darker to come through. That's not bad at all. We'll go with that. Perfect. So now at this very moment, I'm going to go ahead and just add a couple of different little things. So below the text, I'm going to put another new layer. And on this new layer, I'm going to take a cool, like scattered sort of, I guess, particle brush what would look the best maybe like i don't know now i'm just like showing off my little like pal like my brush pack but i will put it in the description down below if you guys want to purchase it it's only five bucks and it comes with updated purchase uh, excuse me updated like i guess you would say updated like stocks sure and it's for free so it gets email to you so it's kind of like a really cool little deal there i don't know what kind of thing do i want here maybe like like that i don't know i can do whatever the heck i want so let's just just no Oh god, oh no, I should have this like thing worked out already in my mind, but I don't because I'm human and I'm weird. Let's just go ahead and go with this. Um, yep, sure, that'll do. Okay, and right now I'm gonna, eh, sure, okay. On this new layer here, uh, I can go, I can get a lot, I can, I can mess with this a lot more, but we're just gonna go with it. So I'm gonna make a new layer, clip mask it, take a soft brush here. Right, and I'm also gonna take this orange from this little word healthy here. And on this, I'm just gonna basically colorize where I feel like it just needs a little bit of color. And then it's kind of phase into white, which looks pretty dang cool. Um, that looks okay. However, it does bother the hell out of me that it doesn't look the way I wanted it to look. But that's like that's the way of a life of a designer, bro. Okay. This life ain't easy, okay? Uh yeah, we'll go with like something like that, right? Just try to make it as scattered and very like nonchalant as possible. But that looks pretty good as it is. And right now I'm going to go ahead and just add another sort of like soft light on the top of here. Make sure this opacity comes back up. Soft brush. Just a nice simple white brush hit at the top. But I'm going to lower those opacity down quite a bit. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and just add a final sort of like brightness and contrast and vibrance in here. So brightness and contrast. This is just gonna be like a brightness and contrast above like all the the little lights that we just did, which look a lot better. So I'm gonna put this on negative 13, and then 72 for the contrast, just like so. I might lower this down a little bit because my color correction is gonna be just a little bit different. Because of course my example is a little more taken time on besides this tutorial one. So my vibrance was at 40 for this, and my saturation is at three. And I'm just gonna like lower the opacity down on both of these, just a little bit like so. Okay, now I might just see myself like adding a little more lights over here because I can see that it's very dull in these areas like over here and stuff So if you want to just go back and just add a couple lights that you just feel like needs necessary to be added in um, That was hard English as well. Holy crap. If you guys can't tell. Yep. I'm tired bros <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to like Just burst out laughing for how many times I've like heard myself say the weirdest things in the universe, but we're gonna go with it um Let's go ahead and erase this over here a little bit, erase this over here a little bit. Kinda kinda looks okay right there. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back to this brightness and contrast really quickly and see if I can get a different sort of tone. And then even go back to this color balance here and see if I can get even a better tone. Like something like this looks pretty good. Now I don't have any lights in the middle in the middle of the actual G fuel. I should probably do that. So I'm just gonna do that right now below these other color corrections here. Take a simple little orange. Now I want more of a duller orange, so just get a nice little hit right in the top of it linear dodge add and then that'll look pretty good okay control u see if i can change the color up a little bit if i need to and i believe that looks pretty good so I think I'm pretty much done with this. Like, I'm going to say we're good to go with this. And now, if you want, you can even go back to, uh, where is this little thing here? If you want, you can even erase this how you had it before. Like, the same exact thing you used for the, uh, text here. Do the same thing for, like, the top if you want to. Um, it kind of looks weird. So, I wouldn't do that, actually. Um, yeah, it does definitely does not look that great. But, you can mess around with it. Hopefully, you guys understood, like, the whole kind of purpose of it. It's to really, like, kind of ensure you can, you can just do a lot with, like, this is, like, a dark color scheme. Or how would you say like I don't know like I'm saying dark color scheme aggressive I'm not entirely sure but I definitely like my example a little more better but it's good you just take your time on it right so I kind of like made my things like very evenly balanced all around um I kind of like toned down my lights a lot more make sure those more darker on the outside something like that so right here it's very easy to d accomplish with exactly the same thing I did just take your opacity and just start lowering them down a little bit so you can t like find something like over here if you want it more darker, just lower your opacity down. Take your eraser, if anything like that. Like this one over here where the text is. I can lower this down as well. You can just get a very nice, simple, dark scheme. You just have to really work with it, understand it, and just have a lot more fun. And I'm definitely not feeling this stuff in the background anymore. I definitely like my example one better, like, when it comes to the background stuff. Like, look at that. It's so more, like, it's so more controlled. So, when you're doing yours, of course, just make sure you just don't do it as much as me. Tone it down a little bit. Understand, kind of work with it, and make sure you don't lose the focus of what the actual advertisement is all about. And for my case, it was G Fuel. And, like, the whole little text thing here, by the way, it looks pretty cool. Like, you should try it out with any other thing as well. So... Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video, and of course do not leave a like, turn likes on the video, because a secret down below, which will most likely be the PSD of this video, which basically would be like this right here, and you get the PSD, kind of like learn on your own, like kind of like all my layers and all that stuff is going to be right there, all for you, good to go. So of course if you want to get that brush pack, selfie.com slash SisoHQ for any premiums of packs of those five bucks, including that brush pack, which I was talking about, and of course don't forget to follow me on Twitter, and of course if you're not subscribed to me, you should do so, because I'm about to hit 70k soon, and I don't know what the whole deal I'm going to do yet is, but it's going to be, like, cool. So, you should be there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go to sleep and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm going to go to sleep. Can you tell I'm sleep deprived? Because I'm laughing a lot. Too much. I'm going to go to sleep. Yep. Ta <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs> Send some HQ out. Peace. Don't keep smiling. Stay positive And stay freaking productive. Yep. I'm so tired.